All right, good morning. Welcome to another episode. Uh, say good morning. It's about 11 o'clock. But uh, all the river finally went down, and uh, I just want to get out here in the lake today and just just try to do a little bit of everything fishing, you know, crappie bass, just whatever kind of bites, you know. Uh, I'm just going to be throwing this spinner bait and this swim bait combo right here. Hopefully, uh, we can get on some good bass or crappie today. Just whatever, like I said, just kind of whatever bites, but it's a beautiful day today. It's like around 80, right at 80 degrees, and uh, the wind ain't, ain't supposed to be blowing too bad all day, so it should be a beautiful day, perfect day, really, for fishing in general, period. But hopefully we can get a uh, nice-sized bass today or some crappie or... There we go. Whoa. A little bass there. Got behind that cypress knee there. Come on, buddy. Get out of there. There we go. There's a little one. About like them ones over at Lake Dunn. <laughs> Too big. Pretty fish though. I'll take him. Pretty fish. Back go. Put up a nice little fight there. Just kind of got us uh, wrapped around that sopper snake there for a second. <laughs> this is a. Uh, one of my favorite types of fishing right here, fishing around this stuff like this, this brush and cypress knees and cypress trees and you know I like fishing like at Lake Dunn, you know it's pretty and it's different but this is uh, definitely my favorite type of fishing here. I don't know what it is, I've just been, I've been fishing like this ever since I was a kid around these old cypress knees and trees and stuff and it just never gets old. And usually you'll catch uh, some good bass and crappie around cypress knees and trees and stuff like this, especially around that brush if you can get really cast into them tighter spots. There we go. Oh, a war mouth there. It's a nice one too. Call these a war mouth. Kind of like a bluegill, but kind of like a mix between a bluegill and a bass. They're real big, real thick. It's almost, it, they put up a really good fight. I always love catching them. They're pretty fish. We're going to keep this one here. It'd be a nice cooking fish right there. Nice big thick fillet. Alright, so we're gonna throw back in here a little bit more, see if we can get another one. Usually where there's one, there's always two. They just always usually around that real tight stuff. Just kind of dropping it in there, letting it sink, slowly pulling it back up. Starting to pick up a little bit. This right here is one reason why um, 
I like this little kayak here compared to like a 12 or a 13 foot kayak because you can uh, a shorter kayak you can really maneuver into these little tight places like this you know if you love uh, brim crappie or bass fishing in tight places like this then a 10 footer is just perfect for it you don't realize how much that extra length really gets in your way when it comes to maneuvering into all this stuff whoop there we go he almost took it you don't want round two but as i was saying um, you don't realize how much you know this 10 footer is just really good for maneuvering in and out of all these tight places like this I have a uh, 12 and a 13 foot kayak, and this one here is just my favorite kayak for doing stuff like this. It's just so much easier to get it into places like this. And you can just be so much quieter, you know, while you're doing it too, because you're not bumping around on everything. There we go. That's a crappie too. <laughs> come on, buddy. Yeah, come in here. Small white crappie. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep him. I got him uh, hooked right there for the eyeball. Normally I throw him back, but I hate to throw him back whenever he hurt your eye like that. Stringer here, with the other buddy here. It ain't a super small crappie, but like I said, I hate to throw him back and, and mess around and not be able to eat or die on me. There's another one back there. I really thought that was a uh, bass there at first, the way it hit. There we go. That feels like a nice bass. Yep. <laughs> Ain't too bad at all. There we go. In the kayak. I'll take him. It's a nice bass there. Pretty. I think I'll go ahead and put him on the stringer. Well, we only got to keep about one more fish. And I can always put him back if uh, I get another crappie or something. That's one thing I like about putting fish on a stringer. They uh, stay alive a lot better and you can always let them go back, you know, if you decide to.
we go. Oh, what? Yeah, that's a nice bass there. Yeah, it is. That is a big one. He's trying to throw that hook too. Come on, buddy. That is a nice one there. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, he's trying to learn a kayak now. <laughs> Hope we got a good hookup on him. Come here, buddy. There we go. <laughs> Man. Glad we got one big one today. That's a nice one there. Got him hooked in the top lip pretty good too. He wasn't definitely, he definitely wasn't coming off. There we go. Man, look at that one. That is a nice one. Look at that spot on top of his head there, black. That's a nice bass. Huge mouth on him. Definitely a good fight there. I thought we was going to lose him there for a second, but we didn't. I have to take a few pictures with him. Maybe give him front camera time. <laughs> That's a nice one there. Look at that big guy. That's just a huge bass. Big old mouth on him. Like I said, one heck of a fight too, you know, right there, jumping and everything. I really thought we was going to lose him there for a second. He, uh, he was definitely trying to throw that hook. <laughs> but that is just one big old nice bass. It's an awesome place to catch him in too. I'm glad we got him in the kayak. Get a few pictures of him, I'm going to throw him back. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's a nice crappie there. That is a slab. Come on, buddy, get in here. That is a sure enough slab right there. I just barely hooked, too. Look at that big guy. That is a beautiful crappie there. Big old crappie. Big black crappie. We got lucky. They even get him in the kayak. He was just barely hooked right there. He's definitely going on a stringer. Caught him on a big old swim bait too. Super big crappie there. That's the one you like to catch. I thought it was bass at first, the biggest it was, the way it was pulling. We'll throw it back over, maybe he's got some friends in there. Another big crappie. Oh man, he got off. <laughs> oh man, that was a nice crappie there. About the same size as that last one. Seems like they're hanging out real, real close to them cypress trees, especially when you get a bunch of, a bunch of them together like that. There we go. Got him again. <laughs> that is a slab right there. About the same size as that last one. I love catching crappie this size right here. That is fun. It's a pretty crappie too. Man, look at the colors on him. I love them big old fans that he got right there. One pretty fish. Yeah, I think we'll, uh, I think we'll let that bass go back, and, uh, we'll keep that one there. Yeah, you see that bass is still super lively. Oh, hang on. There you go. 
the one thing I love about a stringer <laughs> they stay you know pretty well just better than a live well you can let them go back especially if they look like they're breathing good and still uh, look real healthy you know if it looks like they're dying or something I won't throw them back but I'm sure there's another one right there. Oh, there we go. There's another one. <laughs> oh, buddy. I remember her flight me in the face. <laughs> Calm down. Act like he understood me there, didn't he? There we go. Another one. There's a nice slab there, too. He gets to go back. I mean, we already got enough. That's just a awesome, awesome crappie right there. Just beautiful. Love them black crappie. Back you go. Appreciate the fight, buddy. Just right there next to that tree. They're definitely in between them trees. I just can't believe we haven't caught any up until now. There's another copy. <laughs> oh man, he got off. Whew. That's a nice one there too. I was gonna let him go anyway, but I can't get over his uh all of them are big. No nice slab crappie. Catch him on that big old swim bait too. This is just some of the leftover bad ones that I had from that Lake Dunn and off sale trip. Every time I have like a bad bait, you know, like it getting tore up or whatever, I'll throw it in my tackle bag there. And when I come out here, kind of just having fun, you know, not too serious about fishing, I'll use them lures right there. I'll just put them on all kinds of funny ways, trying to keep them on there because, you know, out here the brim and the smaller bass will just tear your tails off your bait like crazy. So I'll come out here a lot of times and just, uh, you know, just use them old lures or the old baits there and throw them on there and get some use out of them before I throw them away. <laughs> well, baits are expensive. Uh, change them every time you mess one up. You can definitely see that uh, the crappie and bass are still liking it even though it's uh, all jacked up. <laughs> There we go. I don't know if it's a crappie or yeah, it's a little bass. <laughs> a little fast jumper. He was definitely shooting across the water there pretty quick. There we go. A little guy. I'll take him though. Fun little fight there. Oh, bait there is all kinds of bad ways. They're still hammering it though, I'll still leaving it on there. As close as I got to that tree, I really thought that was going to be a crappie. There we go. Man, 
That is pulling there. I don't know what that is. Is there a big crappie or a bass? That's <laughs> a bass. Well, he was pulling there for a second, boy. So huge. There we go. Yeah, we had a good hookup. Pretty bass. A little bit bigger than that last. Back he goes. Yeah, it's been an awesome day so far. I don't know how many bass we done caught today. But crappie, I don't know how many crappie done caught either. But that old bait right there is just in terrible shape. <laughs> I ain't taking it off here though. You're still catching fish. There we go. Another uh, bass looks like. A nice one too. Barely hooked in the top. Oh, barely hooked in the top lip right there. Got a crawfish in his mouth way down there. He can barely see it sticking out of his throat. It's a nice bass there. I'll definitely take him. Back he goes. Yeah, I've just been putting all kinds of my leftover bait on here. I had my tackle bag here. So far, I've caught a lot of fish on it. Like that one there, that's one of them four inch swim baits. The tail got bit off of it. I just put it on there. Still got a lot of action. And I, I done caught, I don't know, quite a few fish on that one there. Just like that last one. Alright, so that's going to bring this episode to an end. Uh, definitely a fun day out here fishing, you know. When I first came out here today, I wasn't even planning on really catching that many fish, you know. Uh, the river just got back down. This is my first trip out here. And you can see that dark water line behind me here. And uh, that's how deep it was out here. And usually, after it goes back down, it takes a little while for the fishing to get back right again. But I was definitely proven wrong today. Uh, you know, everywhere we went, we were catching bass, crappie. The brim were biting good. It just, uh, you know, I wasn't brim fishing, but they were just tearing the tail off my bait, you know. But, uh, you know, we got that one big bass, and the weather was good today, too. You know, I started out about 70, 75, and I think got around 80 when the sun come out, and now it's starting to cloud up again. It, it feels probably around 70, 75 out here right now, but it's just a perfect day, you know. It's, uh, fish were biting, weather's good. Hope y'all like the content. Till next time.